Uh, we have a total of 12 bowling centers that are involved in this project, and each individual bowling center is going to have a different qualifier each month, um, where people will be able to come in, they'll be able to bowl three games, and we will end up cutting to the top 24, which will bowl three more games, and then the top nine people will come in and bowl on TV. Well, Beat the Champ it started on uh, a TV station that wanted to promote bowling, that wanted to get the best bowlers on TV to compete against each other. Uh, the prize, uh, when you make the TV show, um, $100 to the winner, $50 for the loser, but based upon the number of entries that are involved in the local qualifier, there could be a lot more prize money involved. So uh, we welcome anyone can come in and try it out. It is a scratch tournament. Um, there are going to be a lot of good bowlers, but you know anyone can beat anyone on a given day. Right now here at uh, Rapids Bowling Center, we're having our uh, very first qualifier for the show to be starting in January. Um, our next one will probably qualifier will be held in January, and we will definitely let everyone know through our Facebook page. Bowling centers were all around Western New York. Uh, a lot of great large bowling centers are still here today. Uh, bowling is a great sport because everyone can bowl from the young, two years old and 90 year olds. Uh, I bowled the first squad here. Uh, I've been bowling since I was just a little guy. Um, I actually didn't hear about this until we started doing this. Um, I heard it was very popular during the 70s through the 90s. Uh, it's really good for the area to get it back here and uh, I think it's going to be a good thing for the sport. It's starting to get there again. Um, I think uh, just the problem was coaching for a little bit. Um, but I think we're starting to get a lot more people that are willing to do coaching and, you know, there's lots more sport leagues and, you know, high school bowlings are starting to get up there again. Uh, I think it's a very good thing for the sport. I walked into Buffalo State College Club Bowling thinking it was just getting to know people and was greeted by Roy Summer, my, my coach, our coach who I quickly realized this was a pretty serious thing I got myself into, but he worked, you worked hard and you know, we practiced every day and I was lucky enough to have it come to me. So from college I met great people, went on to bowl with my team, with Liz Johnson, with Sue Jaziorski, who I met in college, and it's, uh, the rest is history, I guess. I think that there's less people, we had a few too many lane beds for the amount of people, a little bit more expensive, uh, so they had to cut down from maybe my dad bowled four or five nights a week. Then it changed to we can't really afford to do that anymore, so people are bowling once a week. So I, I don't think that, I, I just think we're finally getting the right amount of lanes for the amount of people that are out there. But um, it's changed a bit. People are more party oriented. I see a lot more um, corporate parties, group parties that were full three, four days a week with high school bowling. Um, a lot of the kids work for me actually that bowl high school because I think it teaches you how to be organized, how to balance your time. It's, there's a lot more to it than actually just physically throwing a bowling ball. Having these kids come in there and work together, work as a team, uh, make it to practice and still do their studies, the lessons there are go far beyond just bowling.